<laughs> no. Or the year? Yeah, well, I mean, it's a busy day for people. Thank you for joining us on KCAL News at 5 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Christine Lazar. And I'm Colina Estrinos. And here are some of the major headlines we are following. We have some breaking news. This is in the Westlake District where a woman was shot in the head. We have the latest on this investigation. And rising tensions in the Middle East after Iran's attack on, the, on Israel, the response from Israel, after President Biden met with G7 leaders. And Trump on trial. History is made today in lower Manhattan as former President Donald Trump faces criminal charges. What to expect this week as jury selection begins. But first, we want to start off with a look at our forecast with Amber Lee. Christine Lazar mentioned uh, fog this morning. Yeah, but and you get to be the bearer of good news this week. Finally. No it's sun. Yeah. Whereas last week you had to talk about the rain coming. Yeah, yeah I can't so wait to get out. That's outside. out of our forecast. Yeah, it's out of our forecast at the moment. Okay. Uh, but we're looking at warmer conditions. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yay. Okay, so we're, we're slowly warming up. It may not feel like it as we head into uh, the afternoon today, but it's going to be at least drier and sunnier compared to what we saw yesterday. 50 degrees right now, so grab the layers this morning. It's still a little chilly because we have a lot of that cold air left over from the system that brought us the rain yesterday. So we're kind of stuck in between uh, two systems at the moment. One system moving out, another one moving back in. Here's a look at the next few hours for downtown LA. We are looking at those temperatures climbing up into the upper 60s today. And then we're looking at some low 70s as you had a little bit more inland. So that means areas like Santa Clarita looking at a high of 70, Chino 70, Riverside also 70. And then as Christine and Kalina mentioned, things are looking nicer, drier, warmer. I'll let you know just how warm it's going to get and for how long. Back to you guys. Excited to get outside, Amber. <laughs> thank you. As we head out the door right now, we do have a uh, road work happening on the northbound side of the 241. This is from Santiago Canyon Road to the 91. All lanes are closed. That is until 6 o'clock, so for another hour, uh, should lift right on the dot. Uh, alternate route, so just in case you're heading out right now, northbound 55 or Imperial Highway will help you get around that. Taking a look at the rest of Orange County, not too bad this morning. Irvine's pretty clear. Huntington Beach looks good. 91 West, pretty much wide open this morning out of Corona heading into Orange County. We do have a car fire though, 10 West past Orange Street. That shoulder is what's impacted there. Not a major backup though. This is a look at our next traffic camera. This is a 15th through the home pass. You can see all of the volume. So starting to see a slowdown there just slightly. 23 minute ride from Joshua Street to the 215 and leaving you with a wide open drive throughout most of LA roadways. You can see it here on the map, but I will keep you updated throughout the morning. Love to see all that green. Thanks, Kalina. Well, breaking news this morning, LAPD is at the scene of a deadly shooting in the Westlake District where one woman has been killed. KCAL News reporter Amanda Starantino is live on the ground where police are still working to figure out what happened. Amanda. Good morning. It's still an active scene here on the corner of Lucas and Ingram as police are trying to piece together what exactly happened and how this woman was found dead like this. Now, her body is still on the scene here as police continue to investigate. They do not have any information on a possible suspect. We talked with someone who lives in this area who says he knew the victim. She's always been out here about the past couple of weeks. I've seen her. I mean, she had mental issues, but she was never bothering anyone. You know what I'm saying? I stop and give her some, you know, a couple of dollars when I have them. It's sad because that seems random. I mean, it's just sad because she didn't do nothing to nobody. She wasn't involved in nothing. LAPD says the victim is a black woman in her 20s or 30s, but did not have any other information about her. When they arrived on scene just after getting the call around 2.30, they found her with one gunshot wound to her head. She was declared dead on the scene. Officers say people in the area at the time tell them they heard one gunshot, but no one has been able to give any details of a possible shooter. So this area is right near a large parking lot. There's a lot of businesses offices in this area. Also, there's several homeless encampments on the other side of right here, and that's who police are talking to because they were in this area when this happened. But right now they again don't have any information of a possible suspect and they don't know if that person fled on foot or by car. Still trying to piece together all that information but still an active scene here in the Westlake District as police try to figure out how this woman was killed this morning. Back to you guys. Thank you. Tensions are rising in the Middle East after Iran unleashed a barrage of missiles and drones on Israel over the weekend. Israel's war cabinet is determined to respond but has yet to decide on the timing and scope. So we do want to get to KCAL News reporter Tina Patel joining us live right now with reaction from world leaders. And as you can imagine, a lot of people watching to see what will happen. President Biden had a video conference with G7 leaders yesterday. They seem to be in agreement that they want to